the 2020 Ole Miss football season will inevitably look different as a new staff arrives and the page turns to a new year. It brings a new identity and a new swagger. We stepping out different oh. today. We stepping out a little different today. Man, they look so sweet for my first game too. Couldn't ask for anything more, honestly. Well, man. Nice feeling here. These luscious logs, baby. These luscious logs. The look good for stuff growing for this long. So. Yeah, some people say he has the best mullet, but Chase might be giving him a run for his no, money. Oh, hell no. Ooh. The Rebels, decked in their brand new powder blues, were ready to put the look good, play good mentality to the test. Get the job done! 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 Play physical! Play physical! Don't spend nobody! If it's move, hit it! Run physical! Get off the ground! Get ready to rock and roll, believe. RB's on three, one, two, three. RB. It's time for the bus feelers. It's time for the bus feelers. They're going to feel us today. Hey, look, listen, from day one, from day one, it's been 2020. Rep 2020, dot, dot, dot. Yes, sir. Dot, dot, dot. You ain't feeling it. You got to feel me. Dot, dot, dot. You got to feel me. Hey, the best part about this whole damn thing is we're holding the pin. We're waiting for it. All right? Before Coach Tiffin comes in, what's it going to be? What's it gonna be? Feel me when I say this. Feel me. What's it gonna be? Hey, I'm laying it all on the line. Laying it all on the line. Just be there with me. Let's go get the man. SEC football is back. So let the Lane Kiffin era begin here in Oxford. There's a snap. It's a swing route to the near side, and that's going to be grabbed there by Elijah Moore as he works the sideline. He pushes it to the 34 before he is knocked down. This is a handoff running left is Ely, and Ely able to turn the corner and get his way to the line to gain. Here is Corral as he scoots ahead. Fourth down and three. Trying to throw his Corral. He's in trouble, and he's going down. A sack there, and the Gators will take over. While the fourth down attempt was snuffed out, the message was sent. Lane Kiffin's offense was not going to back down. And after an early Florida score, they struck quickly. Ready to go! Third and 19, Corral, time to wind up, and he does it! What a strike! And finding an in-cutting Elijah Moore, and they convert it. Take on a handoff, Corral wants to throw again, steps up. Going deep, man, wide open in the middle, caught at the 10, into the end zone, touchdown! And that's Ontario Drummond who hauls it in. 46-yard touchdown pass to Ontario Drummond. Jones going to loft it downfield, and it is easily picked off. That's A.J. Finley who was just waiting for that rainbow to come down, and he finds the pot of gold. So the Rebels from their own 45, Corral, quick pass near side. Drummond's going to wind it up. Wide open and into the hands of Ely. Razzle dazzle, Lane Kiffin's in town, folks. Corral steps up. He tucked, ran for it before, and what a juke he puts on to get it this time. Play action, bootleg to the right, looking to throw. Corral complete at the five and into the end zone. Touchdown, Ontario Drummond. What a first half he has had. A steady mix of groundwork and air attack from the Rebels knotted the game at 14 apiece early in the second quarter. But an experienced Gator attack, led by preseason All-SEC quarterback Kyle Trask, bit back quickly. To the end zone he goes and into the hands of Tony. Touchdown Gators. Back to throw is Trask, swings near side to Pitts. Pitts got away with another shove and he's in there, touchdown. In what turned into an offensive shootout by game's end, junior Elijah Moore shined above the rest. Corral downfield, and Elijah Moore is weaving, and he's inside the 20. This offense can hang with anybody. Matt Corral pumps, goes deep, and it's Elijah Moore again. 
one of the most dangerous playmakers in the SEC is having himself a day. Everybody knows Ole Miss is going to Elijah Moore, and nobody seems to be able to stop him. All the way down to the 24-yard line on that one. That was 51 yards to Elijah. The junior racked up 227 receiving yards on the day, best ever for a rebel against an SEC foe. Newcomer Kenny Yaboa also put on a show for his first appearance on the SEC stage. Collecting five catches for 91 yards to round out the potent red and blue air attack. Downfield and able to get it complete to Yaboa. Yaboa the senior who is coming as a grad transfer from Temple. Fake on a draw. Now Corral wants to throw deep over the middle. He's got a man, and it's going to be caught at the 45-yard line by Yaboa. Fake the swing pass. Now down the near sidelines is Yaboa again, one-on-one. He cuts in front of the defender, makes the catch of the 10. And once again, it's Yaboa as the downfield target. Of course, neither Yaboa nor Moore were throwing the ball to themselves. That was the work of sophomore Matt Corral, whose career day featured 395 yards in the air, 55 on the ground, and three TD tosses. Quick pass to Yaboa near side, makes a man miss, stretches for the goal line, he breaks the plane, touchdown Ole Miss! While the Rebels were setting records, the Gator signal caller raised the bar on the other side of the field. To the end zone, did he hold on? Yes! Touchdown, Kyle Pitts! Even with Florida firing on all cylinders, the Rebels showed they could go blow for blow with one of the nation's best offenses. There's the snap, Corral wants to throw, swings it out far side, complete to Elijah Moore, he breaks the tackle, gets to the 20, to the 15, has the first down as he goes out of bounds. Great open field miss there. Casey Kelly is in it tight end now, the retro freshman from Niagara Falls, New York. 37, there's a pass that's complete to Kelly. Comes in cold off the bench, makes a catch, nice job. So Snoop Connor and Corral will set up at the one yard line, see if they can punch it in. And Connor does just that. But in the end, time would run out on their comeback. There's the snap, Matt Corral is going to step up in the pocket, now he's thinking about running, fires the back of the end zone, incomplete. Oh, he had him. That's the ball game. The Florida Gators win this one over the Ole Miss Rebels, 51 to 35. It's Florida walks away 1-0. The Rebels fall to 0-1. Guys, you either win or you lose. Nothing matters but winning the game. We did not make enough plays today to win the game. And we win and lose together whether one of the three units plays good or two or three, whatever it is. We don't care whether we win two to nothing or 60 to 58. We got to win games and change a mindset that there is anything else that matters. There is nothing that matters except for winning the game. And we got beat today. Okay, so if you want someone to come here and say, hey, good job, okay, you know, you guys played hard, all right. We didn't come here for that, but come back, get ready, to, get ready to come back to work, all right, and get ready to go get our first win next week. I mean, that's about as you know, bad as you can play in, in, against the pass, obviously. You know, 30 of 42, 4 16, six touchdowns, no picks. You know, the tight end was unbelievable. You know, two of the touchdowns he's double covered on, on the call. Um, and obviously, you know, Kyle knows what a player he is, so he forces the ball to him and, and they get two touchdowns. It's going to make me a better player, you know, guarding somebody like that with the talent that he has. Uh, you know, I gave up that long on the touchdown, but one thing I'm going to do, I'm going to learn from it. You know, I'm going to put that in my back pocket and learn from it. We had a good game plan coming in and we were comfortable with what we had. Uh, you know, left a few plays on there that we wish we got back, but, you know, that's something we got to build on. Well, I thought Elijah, you know, was really special from looking at film last year and then getting to work with him. You know, when I first, you know, met him after watching, said, hey, you know, you got to work harder than anybody in the country because, you know, you're, you're going to shatter the school record for most catches in a year. We've done that at, 
every place we've been. I, I put this game on me, you know, uh, to be the leader I'm supposed to be. I put this game on me, and uh, come Monday, come next week, come to the rest of the season, I promise you this will be a new Ole Miss defense. I promise you.